Good morning, boys and girls. It is May 1st, 2020. I can't believe it's already May. And in May, what happens is a lot of times, as we're getting towards the end of school, uh, teachers start uh, putting their books in boxes and getting clean in their shelves and get everything ready to uh, for the custodians to come in and uh, clean the floors and wax and move all the desks out. So. Uh, to think about what teachers are going to get ready to do about boxing up all their stuff. We're going to read about um, Monster's Moving Day. Well, hope you enjoy. Monster Moving Day. Bonk's house is filled from corner to corner. There's no more room for my tennis ball collection, Bonk says. Or my comic book collection. Or my stuffed bunnies. Bonk says. There's a big house across town, says Jupe. Maybe you could move. But I like my little house, says Bonk. It's right next door to my friends. It has secret hiding places. It has a creaky floor. That's true, says Jupe. But the big house will have space for all your collections. Hmm, says Bonk. I do like my collections. Maybe moving is a good idea. The monsters help Bonk pack everything into boxes. They move the boxes to the new house. Now you have plenty of space, says Jupe. That night, Bonk looks, Bonk looks for secret hiding places. He jumps on the floors to see if they're creaky. He looks around for his friends. This is no good, says Bonk. That night, Bonk has a thought. He takes bags of tennis balls to Lurk's house. He takes boxes of comic books to Uzzle's house. He takes baskets of stuffed bunnies to Jupe's house. Bonk moves everything else back into his old house. Now I have space, says Bonk. In the morning, the monsters have surprises. They have tennis balls, comic books, and stuffed bunnies. But even better, they have Bonk right next door again. Welcome home, Bonk.